Hi, this is Fahad Afghani. Please follow us. Follow me, iPhone. April the 21st, the Echo Arena, Liverpool, Amir Khan makes his long-awaited return to the UK after many years' absence and he's going to be taking on Canadian Phil Lo Greco and they just had a press conference and it was interesting. Um, Amir Khan was saying how he's looking forward to be back on Sky, he signed a great deal with them and Eddie Hearn, Matchroom, all that kind of thing. Boxing is what gave him the platform and he wants to leave the spore on a high. Um, Phil Lo Greco was more about antagonizing Amir Khan and to the point where he would insult his personal life. For those who don't know, where have you been? But for those who don't know, um, Amir Khan and his wife had uh, a very public spat um, not so long ago and um, he accused her of cheating on him with Anthony Joshua and she returned the favour, calling him an alcoholic and a womanizer, all this kind of thing. And Phil LaGreco used this whole situation to his, I don't want to say advantage, but I can't think of another word. But either way, he was throwing it at Amir Khan. Amir Khan had enough. He grabbed, um, was it um, a glass of water and threw it over Phil LaGreco. Now, bear in mind, the only people that was between them was, in fact, Eddie Hearn. <laughs> Whereas usually at a press conference, you have Eddie Hearn in the middle, um, Adam Smith, and some kind of entourage in between them. So it, it's usually about three or four people in between the fighters. But on this one, it was just Eddie Hearn. And the Phil LaGreco, he's been very, very vocal towards Amir Khan on social media. So he's pretty much talked himself into this fight. And for those who weren't looking forward to it now, or then, I'm sure you are now. Because it's proper erupted at that press conference. Amir Khan had enough through water and the whole press conference went up in the air um, both sides were pushing around and shouting at each other and the whole thing nearly kicked off into a raw rumble which would have been pretty cool so from a spectator's point of view very interesting but of course phil Greco did cross a line for i mean for sure um yes amir khan has made a complete ass of himself at times but you know he's trying to rectify all that and all he wants to do is get back in the ring and fight which is what we all wanted and of course we could all uh, poke and jest at Amir Khan's antics over, over the past year or so but facts are we all have the one thing in common which is we want him to get back in the ring and to a UK ring because we'd have been saying that he has left us for way too long but now he's coming back Phil LaGreco like I said used this whole situation to wind him up now, will it play a part on April 21st? It's quite a long time between now and then. So I'm pretty sure he'll cool off, concentrate with his trainer, Virgil Hunter, and get the game plan done. But hopefully when he gets in that ring, he doesn't allow himself to get emotionally invested because when he does, he he tries to have a bit of a tear up and that's when he gets chinned. So he needs to do to Phil LaGreco what he done to Devin Alexander, which is pretty much outbox him, glide those feet around the ring like he's on a, an ice rink and just whoop him on points so interesting press conference very interesting actually so like i said that will be on april 21st at the echo arena in liverpool tickets are on sale now 200 pound 100 pound 80 pound 60 pound and 40 pound maybe you want to go buy them you can go visit stubhub and matchroom.com for them so drop your thoughts below click thumbs up subscribe catch your next video